Hey guys, picked up a Mora Robust Pro Series and wanted to talk about it real quick. Show you uh, some of the differences between that and the uh, regular series and uh, just go over it quick and join. It's, tough, it's always tough to review a Mora because there's literally probably 30,000 reviews on YouTube and pretty much everyone has the same opinion because you know they're great deals for the money. Everyone almost universally agrees with that so it's always tough to review so we're just going to do a quickie here talk about the knife what's different and uh why this is such a, a nice little uh purchase if you're looking to get into the moras so the mora robust is uh i think part of the craft line series they're uh a little thicker a little beefier blades and some of the earlier moras and uh a lot of people did not like them because they have a very short tang. The tang on them only goes to about maybe here. It's really not the greatest. Uh, I know more is their weak part in general is that they don't have uh, full length tangs and a lot of people don't like that about them. And this uh, particular line is the the worst of, of the bunch when it comes to having that tang. Now, you don't see many of these broken. You know, obviously they use very good handle materials and the way they put them in there obviously is, is done very well. You, you, you can search on Google all day long and you're not gonna see a ton of videos or uh, images of uh, broken moras. And it does happen, you know, but typically it's more from, and when you read, it's from people beating on them more than anything. So I digress, but what they've done with this, compared to the normal, more robust, is they have shortened the handle a slight bit. They've added that uh, little bit of a pommel there and a swell and that uh, finger guard which I believe was on the original as well but it's a uh, two-tone material with some texturing in there as well. Fits uh, really nice in my hand. I got kind of smallish hand. I got big palms, little fingers, you know, but it is a uh, really good size for my hand. Now, let's go on to what they've changed about the blade. The Robust Pro has shortened up a little bit. The original was around 4 inches. This is about 3.6 inches. So you're losing, you know, a little under half an inch on that. But they did add a little bit to the blade width. And the thickness is uh, the same. I think the width on it is 7 eighths. And it's a 1 8 inch uh, piece of steel. Same steel, same high carbon uh, steel. Nothing's changed there with that at all. So pretty much it's a little shorter, a little wider, a little smaller handle, but a little more of a, an ergonomic handle. The next change is with the sheath. They uh, have redesigned the sheath for the Morris and pretty much they're the same. There's not too awful much different. It's a little bit of an improved belt system. It can accommodate thicker and bigger belts and uh, it has the capability here to uh, attach this to the front of another knife. As you can see there's a little, uh, I don't know, doohickey we'll call it here on the front and what that allows you to do is to use this little uh, piece here to attach and stack one knife on top of another. I think that's really dumb. I don't know why they would go and do all that work to uh, to do that because nobody's really going to walk around with two of these stacked like that. I think it's just a poor way to carry. And uh, so eventually I'm going to cut this off and kind of sand it down and get rid of it. You know they have a little thumb ramp here on the side which I'm not sure if the originals had it but yeah, other than that, it's pretty much the same except for that kind of feature, which I feel like they really didn't need. So, you know, whatever, Mora. I know you're trying to give a little more value for the money, but we didn't necessarily need it 100%. So, price on these, you know, you're only talking a couple dollars more than the original line. But, you know, I think the big thing is, is the uh, size and shape of the handle. If uh, Moras are, you know, if you got big mitts and the Moras are too small for you, this is something you might want to avoid because it does got a little bit smaller handle and those uh, that uh, 
and the palm saw there at the bottom might kind of screw you up a bit. But, you know, for me, for my hand, it fits me pretty good. And uh, it was a nice little uh, addition. You know, this is, I think, of my uh, fourth or fifth more in the collection. So I did want to show and tell. And, of course, guys, you know, I haven't gone and uh, completely uh, destroyed this thing. You know, it's only seen kind of light use around the house, a little bit in the backyard. You know, cutting some uh, branches and, and, you know, real light you know, getting the garden ready kind of stuff, so it hasn't seen much at all in terms of use, but it's, it's, uh, 100% typical of every other more I've used. The blade still seems to be the same. The edge is the same. The grind is the same. You know, it's a mora. If it looks like a mora, smells like a mora, quacks like a mora, it's a mora. So, guys, is there anything absolutely special we need to run out and grab one of these? No, you know, but if you're a guy like me who just has to have things you know, for the 15 bucks you're going to spend for something like this, they're definitely nice to add to the collection and uh, throw, in the, uh, throw in your car, throw in your survival kit, wherever. You know, mores are great and they've uh, been around forever and they aren't going to disappoint you.